I don't understand. You're into Nikon cameras, why haven't you bought a Nikon Z8 yet? These are the questions that I get asked all the time here on my channel. So I finally said, right, enough. I'm gonna make a video, I'm gonna answer why I haven't bought a Nikon Z8 yet. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So why haven't I bought a Nikon Z8 yet? Well, there are a number of reasons. Let's go through them. To begin with, I've been waiting patiently for Nikon to release an APS-C camera, very similar to something like a D500 in a mirrorless or something like a Z7 III. I just wanted to see the type of specs that those cameras had before I made the decision into buying a Nikon Z8. Now, I get a lot of rude people sometimes here on my channel commenting saying, well, if you wanted an APS-C camera, why don't you just put the Z8 in the DX crop mode? Well, my reverse question is, why would I be buying a Nikon Z8 that's a full frame camera just to shoot it in DX crop mode? It's kind of weird the way people carry on about APS-C versus full frame. APS-C cameras traditionally have been much cheaper than full frame cameras. So for example, if Nikon released an APS-C camera that had say the focusing ability of the ZF, the Z8 or Z9, I would probably opt for that. So instead of say spending up to $7,000 for a Nikon Z8 here in Australia, I could probably buy that new Nikon camera from anywhere between say two to two and a half thousand dollars. And the only reason why I'm judging on that in terms of rough pricing is because the Sony A6700 and the Canon R7, which would be basically competitors to that APS-C camera from Nikon, are both priced in that same price bracket. $2,000 to $2,500. So yeah, there are other factors when it comes to APS-C versus full frame, not just about resolution and what shoots best. So we've heard rumblings and rumors that there's going to be a Nikon Z63 camera, but will we see a Nikon Z73 camera? A lot of people are saying, yes, we will. A lot of people are saying, no, we won't. And the people are saying no is because a Z73, when it comes to specs, may be too close to the Nikon Z8 and that may hurt Nikon Z8 sales. Another reason why I haven't bought a Nikon Z8 yet is because I was waiting to see the type of problems that could arise when a new camera is released. And sure enough, there was a couple of problems with the Nikon Z8. There were service announcements about the mount and there was a recall on the Z8 in terms of a certain batch of serial numbers that had to come back and have that lens mount replaced. Another problem that some of the Nikon Z8 owners were reporting were these little strap lugs were also popping out. And again, I think Nikon was saying, yes, give us back your cameras and we'll fix that too. So yeah, I tend not to buy cameras straight away. I tend to hang back say six to 12 months just to see if there's any sort of problems arise with them. Even with my Nikon D850, I waited for six months for any sort of problems to arise with that camera as we know, the Nikon D850 turned out to be absolutely stellar. I went and bought it and I haven't had a problem with it since. But I will get you to cast your minds back to when the Nikon D600 and the D800 were released. Who can remember about the oil splatters on the sensor coming from the shutter mechanism? Come on, be honest. Do you remember that? All those people were complaining about oil specs coming off the shutter mechanism. Every time they took a shot, they'd get splatters all over their sensor. Another reason why I haven't bought a Nikon Z8 yet was because I was waiting for that firmware version, that version 2.0, which was released on February 7th, 2024. That improved the Z8's focusing as well as it gave it a few extra features that were available in the Z9, including things like pre-capture release. Another reason why I haven't bought a Nikon Z8 yet is because the cameras that I own now are doing the job I need them to do. This is the Nikon D750, the Nikon D850, and the Nikon Z7. The type of photography I like to do mainly 
is landscape and birds and wildlife. So these cameras pretty much have me covered there. So it boils down to two very important questions. Do I want a Nikon Z8? The answer is yes. Do I really need a Z8? The answer is no. And the last reason why I haven't bought a Nikon Z8 yet is because of price. When the Z8 was released here in Australia, it retailed for $7,000. Although recently I've seen it on special for as low as five and a half thousand dollars. So as time goes on, I think the Z8 will drop even more in price. When it does, I will probably rethink things then. I may replace the Z7 with the Z8, but we'll see how things turn out. Never stop creating. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope this has answered all those questions from people that do keep asking me why I haven't bought a Nikon Z8 yet. See you next time.